Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Desenso brown of the Toro College of Dental Medicine at New York Medical College. In this video, we will first discuss some common social and behavioral challenges through the lens of Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. Later, we will discuss oral home care and include useful desensitization techniques for caregivers and dental professionals. According to the American Psychiatric Association, ASD is characterized by persistent deficits in social communication and interaction, as well as restricted, repetitive behaviors. Social deficits can present in various ways, such as failure to respond to social cues or to maintain conversation, or inadequate or absent nonverbal communication, such as lack of facial expression. Behaviors can vary as well. Examples are inflexible ability to maintain routines, repetitive motor movements known as stimming, extreme fixation, or hypersensitivity to sensory inputs. In some cases, ASD can present with various comorbidities. Among them are intellectual disability, impaired language, or other behavioral disorders, such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. While not always present, knowledge of these comorbidities specific to an individual might be helpful in understanding communication approaches and recommended supports. While certain presentations of this developmental disorder are common, ASD manifests differently for each individual, leading to its designation as a spectrum disorder. Each person is unique, so identifying an individual's personality, needs, likes and dislikes is essential to developing a trusting relationship and a successful individualized oral home care routine. It is most important to avoid making assumptions about someone's ability based on broad diagnosis. When working with a person with ASD, it can be helpful to know what level of support they request and require. The American Psychiatric Association determines severity of ASD in three levels. Level three requires very substantial support. Level two requires substantial support. And level one requires support. Knowing what level of support an individual may need for daily life activities, such as brushing and flossing their teeth, is helpful for developing an oral home care plan with them. Moreover, the level of support needed for an oral home care routine can be transient with increased or decreased challenges and can improve over time with repetition and increased familiarity with the routine. Since ASD can cause deficits and behavioral difficulties, understanding or tolerating oral home care routines may be challenging for someone with ASD. Relatively cooperative residents may still find difficulty controlling their body movements, understanding caregiver instructions, and communicating their feelings. For example, research suggests that the majority of people with ASD have sensory processing differences. Stimuli from typical oral home care routine, such as sensation of the toothbrush bristles, the taste of toothpaste, or the sound of a motorized toothbrush can overwhelm some individuals with ASD. For some, these stimuli can be perceived as uncomfortable or even threatening and lead to resistance. Individuals may respond to anxiety and sensory sensitivity in various ways that inhibit the oral hygiene routine, such as verbally, physical avoidance, physical resistance, self-stimulating behavior or stimming, which involves repetitive body movements, such as rocking back and forth or flapping hands, or self-injurious behavior. If a resident exhibits physical resistance, self-injurious behavior, or any other behavior causing safety concerns, discontinue the oral care immediately and follow the protocol of your facility. This behavior should be shared with the appropriate staff at your facility, as well as with the resident's healthcare providers, such as their dentist, physician, and occupational therapist. These professionals can assess whether the behavior is common for the individual or related to more acute distress, such as pain. Identifying the reason for the behavior may involve multiple care providers and is key to guiding the individual to comfort and ultimately a more stable routine and oral health. 
behavioral challenges place people with ASD at higher risk for tooth decay, gum disease, and unmet dental needs if they prevent consistent and complete oral home care routines. These challenges can also lead to decreased compliance at dental visits and contribute to access to care issues. In addition to the risk of tooth decay and gum disease, people with ASD may be at higher risk for oral trauma, either from chronic poor oral habits, such as grinding their teeth or chewing on non-nutritive objects, or from more acute trauma injuries related to dysregulated emotional behavior, such as self-injury. Considering the oral health challenges faced by individuals with ASD, prevention is essential. Prevention of oral disease starts with an accurate and consistent oral home hygiene routine. Regardless of the resident's age, ASD severity, or the setting, developing individualized strategies to guide a resident through this process can improve the experience over time for more successful home care. If the resident is just short of competence in brushing and flossing on their own, then refer to the previously discussed methods in the Smiles United lesson, Oral Hygiene Instructions for Caregivers, for help and guidance. If facing behavioral challenges, the following behavior guidance techniques can be helpful. Creating a reliable oral home care routine is helpful for everyone and can be especially important in the case of ASD. Frequency of toothbrushing should be considered. Repetition helps an individual acclimate to a routine. Consider scheduling morning and evening oral home care routines at the same time each day. Develop a step-by-step -step plan that can be easily repeated. If sensory concerns are identified, different flavored toothpaste can be attempted, as well as differently shaped or colored toothbrushes. In any case, soft bristle brushes are recommended. When preparing an oral home care routine, ensure the routine is indicated on the individual's daily schedule. Review behavioral expectations for the home care routine and identify preferred items that may help with transition and the routine. Perhaps the individual may prefer a stress ball, a stuffed animal, or a blanket. This can be determined by interview, observation, or trial-based. During the home care routine, provide preferred items for the individual to hold or manipulate. Keep routines well-organized and consistent. Communication should be clear and concise. Let them know what you are doing before each step and when you need them to do something. This approach is often referred to as tell, show, do, and is discussed in more detail in our Smiles United lesson, Behavior Guidance Techniques. Opportunities to take a break from the procedure should be discussed. Consider a timer that allows the individual to count down the time to a break or the completion of the routine. Some individuals may benefit from first then contingencies such as first brush teeth, then movies. Others may require first then to be utilized repeatedly throughout the appointment such as first sit down, then music, then first brush top teeth, then break. This is also a variation of the reward system as described in the Smiles United lesson, Behavior Guidance Techniques. Remember to avoid foods as a reward, especially sugary and or sticky foods, which increase the risk of dental decay. If an individual already receives food as a reward, consider transitioning to a non-food reward or discuss alternatives with a resident's dentist. Dental desensitization is a behavioral technique used to reduce dental fear. The resident is gradually taught to replace fearful responses with adaptive responses. The caregiver or dentist must introduce behavior guidance gradually to overcome the resident's fear. Again, decreasing the resident's anxiety is a top priority. When done properly, the resident will likely develop more long-term trust and the oral care can ultimately take less time with improved results. Desensitization can be achieved through various approaches. Some behavior strategies that can be helpful are task analysis and shaping. Task analysis is a method of teaching a skill by breaking it into smaller sequential steps. 
Each step is taught one at a time. A task analysis can be created for an oral home care routine to teach specific skills. Shaping is another technique that can be used to teach oral hygiene skills. It is particularly helpful for individuals who need assistance achieving a certain skill, such as brushing the tongue or placing toothpaste on the toothbrush. It involves reinforcing the individual consistently improving their approximation of the desired skill. For example, perhaps the individual starts by placing too much toothpaste on the brush. With each session, reinforce the appropriate amount by pictures or demonstration and provide positive feedback when the resident gets closer and closer to the appropriate amount. Some residents with ASD may be sensitive to caregivers' voice, pitch, and phrasing. The best way to communicate with a resident will vary from case to case, but generally, talking can be reduced in favor of body language or eye contact. Keep spoken words relatively concise, slow-paced, inoffensive, firm, yet not aggressive. Limit questions and repeat words if necessary. If the resident appears consistently confused, simplify the language. Before using a toothbrush or floss with the resident, the caregiver should guide the patient with a phrase such as, eyes to me, look at me, hands on tummy, or feet straight out. Although limiting verbal communication may be preferable to some, other residents may feel more comfortable if the communication with their caregiver is not limited to to-do instructions. To vary the dialogue while staying on task, consider positive reinforcement. Practice positive reinforcement even when the resident's behavior is short of ideal. Support the resident's self-esteem by offering words of encouragement or appreciation. Try to avoid negative facial expressions in response to poor behavior. Frowning, pursing the lips, or looking serious discourages progress. If positive reinforcement is not effective to improve behavior, consider other options such as distractions. Distractions can be a great way to diminish the tension that may exist during oral home care routines. Distractions can include watching a television show, listening to music, holding on to special toys, or even more sensory objects such as a stress ball. Distractions might not be ideal for everyone. Some individuals may need to stay hyper-focused on their task for successful brushing or flossing. In these cases, distractions are not recommended. You may need to work with the resident to decrease exposure to visual, auditory, or taste-related stimuli to improve their comfort and the ultimate success of the routine. If the resident can tell you what they prefer, you can work together to incorporate their preferences into the oral home care routine. It is important to keep in mind that residents with ASD may have difficulty expressing themselves. Caregivers should be aware that even if they follow the communication advice, there can still be misunderstandings. In these cases, observe the individual's nonverbal cues to try to determine their comfort level throughout the routine. If the resident has language deficits, a picture board may be useful for communication. Social and behavioral challenges can be associated with several disabilities and disorders in addition to autism spectrum disorder. Behavioral strategies discussed in this module may be appropriate and helpful with individuals without ASD presenting with similar social and behavioral difficulties. In any case, do your best to develop trusting communication, both verbal and nonverbal, with the resident under your care to develop an individualized oral home care routine. Discussion of home hygiene routines with an individual's dentist is always recommended. Everyone can work together to ensure the most successful brushing and flossing routine is promoted. Thank you for watching this lesson from Smiles United with Toro College of Dental Medicine. We would like to thank those who helped fund this project, including the New York State Developmental Disabilities Council and Toro College of Dental Medicine. And a special thank you to the Anderson Center for Autism for their educational contributions to the creation of this video. Be sure to view our other lessons for more information.